you, Brother Gibbon. Oh. Because he has nourished me many years in the Word, I have grown, and I would thank many of the brothers here because they do nourish me in the faith and care for my soul. Uh, Brother Gibbon uh, is a wise man. He assigns you things that make you think. Um, mine is taken from the Hebrews 9 text. It's already been uh, quoted this morning, but it is good always to rehearse the word. And this, this portion, just this porch, portion. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? And the question was, what does having my conscience purged from dead works mean to me? Has it any bearing at all in my life? Is it just something that I've heard and I can repeat what someone has said? Or is it something that I did hear in the hearing of the ear, but now, because the word is mixed with faith, it's mine. I understand now what having my conscience purged from dead works means. It means that I'm one with God and Christ because they will have fellowship with me. They cannot dwell in an unclean place. Therefore, this part was necessary in our redemption also, that we be purged from these dead works, that our conscience isn't defiled. And because it isn't defiled, then I do have this access to the throne of glory. And what I think and say and do can give glory unto the Lord. It can be done as unto the Lord. The other things that I had done prior to that were good works, perhaps. I could be... A sympathetic, compassionate, kind giver, a doer of good works, but they didn't count because it wasn't done as, to the, as unto the Lord because my conscience wasn't purged from those dead works. I had not received that word, although I knew God said it and it was true, but see, until I reckoned on what God said. And he wanted for me. He knew who I was. He knew what I needed. He, he had a purpose for all that would come to him and I could be a son of the Most High God. God knew that. I needed to know that. And when I started reckoning on that, because my conscience were, was purged from dead works, because my sins were forgiven, they was put behind his back. It isn't that sin isn't yet present. I have this flesh to contend with. But he has purged that. It's up to the pruning that I will allow him to do yet and the dross to be... Uh, born out of me that God's word will do that will make me continue on uh, allow me assist me to continue on my way I'm thankful that it's that way because we already know ourselves even when I was dead in my trespasses and sins there were some things that I already knew was wrong and right my conscience told me that God's word as born out by other people told me that so I could sin and the pleasures of sin for a season is a little difficult for me now. I, I think, how could I have had pleasure in them? But the Lord said that, and it was so. I put both hands to it. But now, the things that God's kingdom held, holds out for me is the delight Amen. for me. And so, therefore, I can put heart, mind, soul, and strength into those things and make them mine. He said, all things are yours. Well, it's how much of those all things do I want? that I'm going to be partaker of. But without this uh, effective work of Christ, without me believing the record that God gave of his son, I had no access at all to any of these things that was held out and promised to me. I had to believe that what God said was true. Being buried in baptism gave me a place where I could have a renewed mind, the spirit of my mind. I, I was raised to walk in newness of life. So therefore... It was very necessary for me to be purged from uh, these dead works. My conscience has been made now very sensitive to sin, Amen. difficult to sin without being reminded of the great cost. And Brother Michael ministered so effectually on that this morning. If you hadn't repented, you should have. If you have repented, you should rejoice that you've seen a better 
more of God each time when I'm standing there. It's not living word if you don't. If you haven't seen more of Christ and God and their purpose this day, then it's not a living word to you. Mm -hmm. It's not alive in you. It's not yours. You can talk about it, but you don't possess it. Mm -hmm. But with this purged conscience from dead work, I, I do see more and more how this was the thing that kept me from God. It, I thrust him from me. Now, I was from a child raised in the nurturing admonition of the Lord. And like I said, these words was in my ear. But I could thrust them from me. I could hold them back. And that's why the sinning was necessary, so I wouldn't remember those things. Mm -hmm. I'd done many things, so I wouldn't have to remember that God had purchased me with the blood of his own son. But once that was realized, and I believed that and embraced it, then this walk is definitely worth all that you... If you really did have to give something, Christ did. And that, that was very good, Brother Mike. He had to not just be the one who would purchase me, but it took all of his being to purchase me. Not just a few drops of blood, but by the same token, he wants all of me back, heart, mind, soul, and strength. Yes. And I can withhold some of those things from him, but the conscience won't let me enjoy it. So if we repent, God is faithful. He said, I won't withhold from you any good thing, and forgiveness is with him. I, I thank God from that. Amen. When we had to begin our walk, we didn't know those things all together. We could continue to hear them, but if we don't trample underfoot the precious blood of Christ, this word that he has given, then God will continue to work in us his good pleasure to will and do in us and use us and to be that vessel of righteousness. Whenever um, Brother Given asked if I would have a part in this, I thought, well, it sure is a lot of preparation. Huh? Well, you've had quite a few years, Becky McCormick. <laughs> and by the grace of God, if you don't have anything to say in your defense, I haven't learned anything. And I had just said to Brother Eric last week, I thank you and thank God for your faith that you didn't say no when you were asked because you had never done it before. He was saying yes. Well, we should always be ready to stand and speak for our Lord. Yeah. And so yeah. today, Amen. I give thanks that my conscience has been purged from dead works, that I can truly serve the living God, and to meet with the brethren, and to be able to say that we give glory and honor unto our God and our Father, and His precious Son, our Savior and Redeemer. And He, in turn, gives back to us more than they'll ever have here that we can even realize it is a wonderful thought indeed how much he has to give us and would yet give us we just have to be willing to be used by god he has cleaned us up and made us fit for his use Amen. Amen. Amen.